Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the last episode, we rescued the Skipper's crew, and they told it was the key to get into the captain's deck to, uh, to, uh, get the door to the, uh, uh, to the door to the captain's room so we can go to Nehru's flame. So we're almost toward the end of the dungeon now, so... Now we have to go to uh, the room to go, uh, the captain's quarters to go get the key so we can go to Nehru's flame, so. So we're almost at the end of this dungeon, but we still got a little ways to go, so. And there was a switch here that I missed that actually leads us a shortcut out of here, so. We're going to use all the shortcuts to head back toward the deck. I did not want to do that. Get back up. Alright, so let's head back toward the deck, again. Yeah, oh, uh, and I can't find batteries, so it's gonna get a little annoying. I don't, well, you know, I can't find any batteries, so hopefully, uh, this can last a little bit. Alright, now that we... Got that out of the way. Let's just go unlock this door and go get our key so we can go get to the flame and get out of this area. Uh, so yeah, a lot of backtracking in this dungeon, but it's definitely a fun dungeon. The boss is gonna be really fun though. I cannot wait for the boss. Don't y'all start. So yeah, the dogs are starting to start again. So, all right, now we're back on the deck. Now we just have to head all over here to the other side. Let's pass up everything. You notice back here there is a locked door. This is where we need to go. Easy enough. So, pretty much a straight shot right now. Can't go through there. Let's save here, just to be on the safe side. Because now we're about to get into a little bit of a dangerous territory. Alright. We're going to need our arrow again. And now we're kind of stuck. But, you see this, uh... We should be one-shot the, uh, Beemos now. So now, that we have that out of the way, we need to go back outside. And time shift back to the present. There we go. And just enter the room again. Still can't go through there, but now that we got in the, back in the present, we can go through here now. Out of the way. There was another jelly bob, and I just wasted an arrow, but I got it right back. All right, now if you stand right here in this middle part, you can be, you should be able to shoot straight up. A little bit of a tricky shot, but you should be able to barely see the time stone. Right there. Yeah. 
out of my way, you stupid beam up. And we got a golden golden ornament there, which is nice. You stupid beam mouse. It's going to probably just be easier to hit him. To destroy him the old fashioned way. There. I'm a waste, stupid beam mouse. Yo, stop it! Sorry. Alright, now that we got that out of the way. We should now be able to, uh... Hit that. Which will open up that door. The room is there. Now just be careful when you enter this room, because as soon as you enter this room... Demos. You have to defeat all the Vemos to get the door unlocked, so. I'm just gonna wait, uh, exit and re enter, that way, hopefully, the Vemos won't see me. This is not good. Because I'm about to die. Yep, I'm probably dead right here. Ugh, that was close. Alright, so now that we got that, all the beam out of the way, there's our boss door key. But we're about to die, but luckily, don't let him get hit. It's the squid carving! Matrix injected this key to the control room mentioned by the crew. My memory indicates that the location of the door to the control room is marked with the X symbol. I know where it's at. I suggest you quickly make your way to the control room. I know where it's at. You don't have to tell me. But luckily, there's a place where I'm right on my way down. I can go. As long as I don't get hit, I can go sit and regain my health. Can't believe I came in here with no potions or anything. Alright, so now we're back in. We should be good now because there should be a door right here. Ah. Sorry about that, the dogs are acting really stupid. Alright, now that we got that, now we can actually head toward the boss door. So. Alright, so we are now just about wrapped up with this dungeon. Wrap it up. In fact, I think the boss door is... It's a little bit further in, but it's not much longer. It's up in here. And I think we have to go down one more floor. But you have to go down the basement too. I'm away. You know what? Three. We're definitely going to save here again. Alright, so, now we got that out of the way. There's the boss door. Make sure you're equipped, equipped with full stock of arrows. 
But I will be right back. I'm going to go attempt to go find some batteries. Because I don't want this to die in the middle of the box. Okay, guys, we're back. I found some batteries, so we should be good now. I don't know why that little thing keeps popping up down there, because I actually found some batteries. So. Alright. So now we got the squid carving. Let's just put it in. Really good at putting these things in, so. Because I can never put them in the right way. be a normal boss door. I, mean, I can never put these things in real good. Alright, let's try this again. Not it either. Ah. I really don't like these boss door keys. All right, guys. I'm, I, it's gonna be a short video. I'm gonna end it here when I come back. Uh, I'll have the boss door, uh, the key in, and then we'll fight the boss. Because I don't like these boss door keys, so I'll be back in a minute. So have a good day. I'll see you all next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. This is DKS3 as a Crazy Gamer, signing out.